So the 24 volt model closes in one direction and when you hit the crimp dimension, sit on the control dial here, it'll stop currently on these bigger ones to open. Right, so there's a hydraulic cylinder here cast into the casting and another hydraulic cylinder down there cast into the casting so that when you go into the release this one actually drives them open. And once it hits a certain position you can actually hear it just go over release. This is the new fin power P32 CS31 right which means the crimper head is on the right hand side rather than the left hand side manufactured last year it weighs 125 kilograms and it has a 2000 kilonewton of crimp force uh, working pressure is 275 bar working voltage is 24 volts DC made in Finland can do hoses up to two inches in diameter as per the chart mm. depending on what you've got you can get dies 78 millimeter dies that'll do up to an 87 millimeter diameter crimp comes standard with 14 16s 19s 22s 26s 30s 34s 39s 45 51s 57s 63s and 69s and the 10s and the 12s and the 74 and 78s are options a 24 volt system comes with cables to connect to some heavy duty batteries generating 24 volts so you could run two 12 volt batteries in series the pump is a Rexroth comes with a its own little tank the tank is really full of oil as you can see it's a very fine oil so one hose obviously supplies the pressure to close the dies and the other one supplies pressure to open the dies we'll find that out soon enough operation on and off this is actually for the control device. Control device screws in there, and that's for actually setting your crimp dimensions, depending on the dies. Screw that in now, that little tiny Allen key. Don't lose it. Really unusual size. I think it's a 1.5 millimeter Allen key for making fine adjustments as the, as the machine wears. Control dial actually is what you crimp. Anyway, let's put some power on it, put the control device in, put some dies in it. Let's crimp something. So the machine will come with a quick change tool like this. This is actually for the smaller model. Uh, and this is for the smaller set of dies. Uh, pins and magnets. And so you can quickly load them into the machine. You close the machine up. You pull this arm out and the dies stay in there. So it's a very fast way to load and unload eight dies at the same time. Once the dies are actually loaded or crimping something that's quite large or it's got a 90 degree elbow or something on it, you've got this individual tool where you can individually remove dies. Or kind of, you may have to remove one or two dies to be able to pull the 90 degree fitting out. Such as that. So you allow yourself a gap to be able to pull your 90 degree fittings out. Flange fittings or something with a big swivel nut on it. It's got some flexibility. Make a hose assembly and then be able to pull it out. So as a test I've got some 34 millimeter dies in there and the 34 millimeter dies will crimp anywhere from 34 all the way up to 40 millimeters comfortably do 39, 38, 37 and everything in between. So we'll crimp a hose and see what happens. So we've got a, a piece of a three quarter 4SH hose, it's rated to 420 bar and the burst pressure is 1680 bar. So that's pretty high pressure, between 5,000 and 6,000 PSI. We've got a ferrule and we've got a tail. We're gonna assemble these. The crimp dimension, according to the manufacturer is 35.3 millimeters so the 34 millimeter dies are perfect which means we need to set the dial here to 35.3 so it means if we're at 34 plus 1 we'll make 35.3 so we add 1.3 to 34 to get 35.3 so I've lubed up the hose put on the shell push on the tail so the tail and shell or an assembly and close. So when it hits the set dimension, the little red light comes on. And 
inhabit one crimptose.